Okay, so I'm going to try it again. This time I'm going to invite you um, while it's live. The last time I tried to invite you, it wasn't live yet. And it's showing me that the invite is still out there. So try it again and see if we can get you going. So we'll see. So I met Sylvia through um, my uh, coaching program, and she is just amazing. And wait till you see what she teaches us. It's going to be wonderful. I think you're going to really enjoy this. Um, I'm just kind of uh, hanging out here, waiting for her to come on. I was out looking at my tower garden, and I have to tell you, I freaked out because I decided to hose off my patio this morning. You know, I'm not really good at outside stuff. You know that, right? I'm an inside girl. I'm a, what I always tell people, especially in the heat, I'm an inside cat. So kitchen is my domain. So outside, I'm trying to hose down this patio, and I must have hosed the outlet where the, um, the timer is to turn the water on for my plants. Well, thank goodness I came downstairs because my poor plants were wilting. I must have shorted out the outlet, and so now the outlet is... I. I brought it in through the house, and I'll, after we're done with this, I'll go back out and fix it. I can't believe I did that. I hate outside stuff. This is the time when I know I could use a man. One of the times I know I could use a man. All right, Sylvia, let's see what happens. Approve. I think now. It says adding. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Hi, Kathy. There she is. All right. Hi, Sylvia. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Let me turn my volume up. Okay. All right. I will make sure to have everything going Good. okay. All right. So Let's go ahead. Get... Start telling us a little bit about yourselves and how you got started with this. Yeah. So my journey with triggers uh, is long. So uh, I grew up uh, with a father that was triggered all the time. Um, at that time, I didn't know that was a trigger. All I was seeing is him getting irritated, frustrated all the time, being nervous, angry. And uh, that was apparently for no reason. So this is why it was very tricky for us to understand him. Basically, nobody was understanding him, what is going on with him. So because of this dynamic going on in my household, as a child, I was suffering a lot. And my, my brother and sister, too. So I grew up with the idea, I will never do that, never, ever. And um, I promised myself, I was sure that will not happen with me ever. But something has happened with me when I got married. And I suddenly, from nowhere, again, like this, the, same, I, the same thing with my father, like from nowhere, I started being triggered. I started being, feeling irritated and frustrated apparently for no reason so the same story basically uh being played again and i found myself completely devastated i was like what's wrong with me why why i promised myself not doing this not being that person that everybody will will need to walk on shelves around right and that completely brought me to my knees i i got as low as I can, I just completely hit the rock bottom. And because I was aware of this, I was understanding something is happening here. I don't, what it, I don't know what this is, but I want to explore it more and understand it more. And from this place of not knowing who I am anymore, not understanding why I'm doing this, why I'm why I'm having these charged emotions so often and I can't explain them. Basically for me, it started another journey where I started being aware of my behaviors, what is making me feeling this way, um, why I am getting frustrated for something that is so small or not important. And what I found out that was were triggers. Basically a trigger is a charged emotion that is remembering you something from the past and especially something from your childhood that you don't have awareness anymore. So every time something similar can happen in your present life, this 
will trigger a pain that in present moment doesn't have sense, doesn't explain anything. But if you go behind the trigger, you understand why you feel the way you feel, why you act the way you act. So that became my passion because my father is still unaware of this and is still suffering. But I overcame that that just because being aware. So I'm very passionate about this topic and I really want people to understand that you can transform your life. You can transform your pain, your triggers, your trauma and become empowered through compassion and, you know, understanding about uh, of yourself so tell us how this trigger for sugar is going to help us so yeah said, yeah that was so, a special thing I'd like to talk about absolutely and i love that you want to talk about sugar it's such a fascinating topic for me so i will tell just a little bit about sugar and how this what it's important in my life Like when we are children, what is happening with us? When we have emotions that um, our parents don't understand and they don't know how to handle them, what they do, they give us something sweet. And they just give that something sweet, not because they don't, because they, they feel this will help us soothe our emotional state. Why? Because they don't know how to handle these emotions. They have no idea how to handle their own emotions. So it's like, because as children, we are so, you know, we are all only emotion, <laughs> like walking emotions. For parents, it's very hard to be present with a tantrum or with a winning or with a, something that, you know, you just cry for no reason and I don't understand you. So here a candy, here an ice cream, you know. And we learn that very early on to shut down our emotions. Yeah. But be, behind, emo, be, behind these cravings of sugar, every craving have an explanation, but we today will go only in sugar. Um, when we crave sweet, we actually are you know, we are in a vulnerable state, but we don't know that because it's subconscious. So behind the the trigger of sugar, it's sadness. So every time you find yourself craving sugar, what is happening, you actually feel sad inside. Mm. And the more, the more you understand that the craving is a messenger, the more you become empowered, you know? So for instance, I have, uh, I have it down baked, baked sweets, right? When we want some pastries or cakes, what that mean? It's basically, we are working, we find ourselves working hard, being in our to-do list all the time, doing, 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 And what is happening, we are not experiencing joy because we are all in to do, to do, to do. And so when you eat a piece of cake or a pastry, you feel fulfilled. Even this is a short-term boost, it's enough for you to feel, oh, I feel good. I feel joyful. I, you know, the opposite of of sadness. And... um, Let's but say another one. Guilt? But then doesn't that bring on guilt as well afterwards? Oh, of course it does. Because, you know, like as an adult, you understand that sugar is not good, but you don't know how to handle the craving. Oh, you don't okay. understand why you crave in the first place. Now that you know that behind the craving is actually um, sadness, you know, behind the craving of sugar, you have more power and, uh, you know, knowledge to, to make a different choice. So when we crave chocolate, when we crave chocolate, and I am guilty of that, 
uh, I, like my, my to go, my run is chocolate when I feel sad. And I'm very aware of it. And sometimes I just, I just don't know how to, it's so, the, 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 the feeling is so overwhelming but mm. that even, even me, like I have to have a little bit of chocolate just to, to calm down a little bit and then, uh, you know, bringing breath and presence into the feeling because we saw, we're feeling so uncomfortable with feeling what is inside us. So basically, what is with chocolate? It's, it's helping you feel good and feel kind of in love feeling. You know, it's giving you this, this sensation that you loved and you love. And even if this is an illusion, it's helping you, you know, feel better. But mm -hmm. it's just an illusion because it's for a short amount of time and you'll need more and more and more and more to basically to feel this emptiness, right? So we're going into uh, eating more and more and feeling more and more guilt and like, oh, what is going on with me and what's wrong with me? And we are going in complete, we are basically fighting inside us. It's like a conflict all the time because you know what you should do and you know what you can't handle, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you just stuff it with food. And this is the, the first tool that we use all the time when we feel like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't know how, how all this have to be handled. I, 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 didn't, I don't even understand. And this is the, the biggest issue. When you don't understand something, you have no idea how to fix or... It's not even about fixing here. It's about having compassion mm -hmm. and understanding that is something more going on. And if I am sad, there is a reason for this. There is, uh, you know, there is no such thing as just being sad because you don't have anything else to do, you know? Right. And when we, when we are open to, to understand ourselves more, we can mm -hmm. handle that from a space of compassion and, you know, love for ourselves instead of beating ourselves up and like, yeah. you have to do this and this and this. Yeah. So how do we fight and, these uh, is that part yeah. of your, you're going to tell us how to fight these triggers? Yes, of course. I just want to tell another sure. last one that is yeah. very tricky for us, ice cream. So mm -hmm. we use ice cream and, um, as a, you know, as a soothing to, for our emotional state. Mm -hmm. But what is happening is actually ice cream is our connection to childhood. This is mm -hmm. the, the first you know, basically what is coming to your mind when you eat ice cream, this, you know, warmth of being a child and carefree, you know, being carefree, not, 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 not having to think and, um, you know, concern about anything. Mm -hmm. So we, mm -hmm. we as adults, we crave this carefree feeling and also this, you know, maybe childhood um, freedom, Mm -hmm. And so we go and indulge in, in ice cream. But this is actually a sadness that you are not a child anymore. You know, you can't allow yourself to be carefree. Mm -hmm. You have so many things to get done. So now that we know that behind all these uh, triggers are, mm, you know, is sadness, actually. The trigger, especially for sugar, is sadness. Mm -hmm. This is the, the, the emotion that we have to approach. So it's, um, it's very important to be present. Mm -hmm. So when you have the, the, sh the, the craving for sugar and these right. triggers that, oh, I need sugar, I need something sweet right now, mm -hmm. and you know that this is sadness, allow yourself to sit on the ground and breath in the moment. If you feel like, because sugar is like an addiction, you know, especially yeah. if we use that on a daily basis to soothe ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, our emotions, it's very hard for us to, you know, to handle that in that moment. So allow, give yourself some grace and allow yourself to feel it and just say it out loud. 
I crave sugar so much right now. And in the moment when you say that, say again, but uh, this means I'm sad for something. Okay. So you just acknowledge that behind the trigger of sugar is actually sadness. And you say that to yourself so that you, you take just the cravings thing and wanting to cut it off somehow, mm -hmm. but really understanding that this is something more going on. So and, we, uh, how, do, how do we, are we then supposed to try to figure out what that sadness is? Yes. Yes. And uh, what I am, I, what I'm suggesting all these people to do is connecting mm -hmm. to them, to, to themselves. And I actually, I will put a link below after the life is done with, um, with the training that will be happening on 25th of June. But in that training until 25th, you will have a short meditation that is around eight minutes that will help you when you trigger it to connect mm -hmm. to your inner child. And when you connect to your inner child, let's say you're craving sugar, you connect in this meditation to your inner child is our, our stuck emotion from childhood. And okay. when you connect there, you will actually have the opportunity to see where this sadness is coming. Hmm. Uh, yeah. And so once you see where, what this is happening and where, from where this is coming, you can make different decisions. Hmm. Because let's say in the meditation, you'll have opportunity to meet your inner child. And every time you'll do this meditation, your inner child will show up at different ages. So mm -hmm. you'll have the opportunity to heal yourself in different moments of your life because she will bring you or he will bring you a memory that you wow. were even sometimes, sometimes you just don't remember. It's so subconscious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so this is, uh, I don't want to overwhelm with too much information, uh, but just the awareness that behind sugar is sadness. Yeah. It's, it's a big win for who want to give, uh, to give up or cut off sugar from, from uh, their diet. That's really helpful. That's really good. I hope people will click on the link to see these meditations that she's offering us. And I know I will take advantage of that as well. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah because we usually think only for our nutritional part. And I, I mm -hmm. always love the nutrition information because it's so much research behind it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we don't have so much more information about emotions mm -hmm. uh, and when you have these two combined together you can yeah. really create the shift and the change in your diet and in your daily life and what I'm encouraging every time is always come from a place of self-compassion mm -hmm. it's not about being you know rigid with ourselves this right. will not bring long lasting change this will mm -hmm. bring change for a period of time and then you'll go back again why because you didn't address the root mm -hmm. of the problem in this case your sadness your need for joy you know right. you want to feel joy you want to feel loved and you don't have this and another tool little to tool that we can use talking about this not hiding just talk, mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. Why? I feel sad right now. I want sugar, but I know there's something more going on. Find a friend, find somebody who can listen unconditionally yeah. without judgment and not giving you advices or something or journal, right. you know, just write on a paper. If you know that you don't have people that can understand you right. and they will judge you, just write on a paper, let that out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel loved. Mm -hmm. Big believer yeah. in journal. Just, just let it gush right out. Yes. Yeah. Yes, this is a huge tool for us to use every time we feel like we don't, mm -hmm. we don't know 
to whom to talk and um, how to address what we're feeling. And a yeah. lot of insights are coming just by, mm -hmm. you know, letting it out without judgment, yeah. without analyzing, without wanting to be perfect or correct. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's not the way it works. We have to be real with, with what is going on inside us at that moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. That is awesome. So Sylvia, I really appreciate that. And if you want to go ahead and type in the um, space now, that information, can you do that now while we're on? Yeah. Or do you uh, want to come back? Do you want to come back after I um, say? Is it easier? Yeah, to do it bec because I wanted to go from my computer and it wasn't okay. possible. Right. Uh, I have to yeah. check in again. All right. Let's on do my this. Computer. Let me go ahead and end our end our meeting. Yeah. And then I'll post yeah. it and then you can post there. And I will send you a copy of this video to share with your your um, community as well. Yeah. All right. And just one one more comment about the five day training is absolutely free. It's a training yeah. that will teach you about triggers. What is a trigger? I'm sorry for the background, my kids. Um, I don't even Okay, what is a trigger? How to identify your trigger? Um, how to uh, understand what is behind a trigger and how to transform your trigger. So it's a very important training for me. I put all my heart in it and I really want to share with people to understand that they have power over their emotions and everything can be handled very, very with, with a lot of grace and compassion. Awesome. Okay. And these triggers not just for sugar, they'll be for other issues as well. I you can, exactly, you can use this training information that you will mm -hmm. learn for every single trigger in your life, not just for sugar, for emotional mm -hmm. triggers, when you feel angry. frustrated, angry, irritated. Mm -hmm. These are right. emotions that are happening every single day in our life. We just don't talk right. about this because it's very uncomfortable. Okay. Yep, yep, I agree. Wonderful. Well, I can't wait to sign up for your five-day training. And um, okay. I hope everyone will, too. And I want to thank you so much for being here, Sylvia, and giving us your time. It's always Absolutely. a pleasure. To love you. So you have a wonderful day. Thank you day. so much. Yeah. Anything else you need to add before we say adios? Just, just take care of yourself and don't be hard on yourself. Improvement yeah. come with time and it's a process you can't have results in in one moment you have to allow for change to happen and if you want to give up sugar give yourself at least 21 days but be Very consistent good. and committed to what you're doing Excellent. so this is what i want to thank share you. sylvia have a super day bye everybody thanks thank for you. tuning in bye Alrighty. thank you for being check here. our link later she'll be having the information for you